Hello everybody, my name is The Lost Joker and I've been live streaming TCG Card Shop Simulator on my channel for a while using the Pokemon mods and I've had enough comments and questions and people in the chat asking me hey what mods are you using and how do you install these mods so I'm just gonna make a video of how to install mods for TCG Card Shop Simulator it's very easy and straightforward step one install TCG Card Shop Simulator you see I'm actually installing a fresh install of it right now literally five seconds remaining there we go three two one and it's installed okay so now that that's done i'm going to confirm that it's good by opening the file under steam you go to your disk drive steam steam apps common and then look for tcg car shop simulator and boom that's the folder we need so far so good right now this is where it gets a little complicated, but I just want you to bear with me, and uh, you know, keep in mind it's it's fine, it's fine. You you can do this. It's it's not hard. So we're gonna go to nexusmods.com. That is the website that you can download all the mods from. Nexus N E X U S M O D S nexusmods.com. You're gonna look in the search bar with TC for TCG Car Shop Simulator, and then I like I just go popular by all time very straightforward now if you're just doing the pokemon mod we'll go over that right now but there is a bunch of mods here that i do recommend and like you're going to see me right now actually install some of these additional mods one of which is auto set prices another one i have on here is um no stinky people and stuff like that but either way let's just go over how to get the pokemon so you want to use this one tcg card pokemon english dash french so you click on that boom and that brings you here you're gonna scroll down in the description tab it's the first tab so don't worry about downloading anything yet. just scroll down here and it's gonna have you give you install instructions okay this is real easy guys all right install instructions download this bep and x packs for tcg car sub simulator i'm gonna open that new new tab Texture Replacer, open a new tab. Add entirely new cards mod, open a new tab. And TCG card Pokemon is actually this mod, so we don't need to open that in a new tab. So all you want to do for each of these packs is go to the files and then manual download each of these. Files, manual download. Now I'm not doing it because I already have everything I'm installing downloaded. Right? Boom. So once you have all that now don't get overwhelmed here you're gonna see a lot of files these are just all the mods i'm installing not just the four that i just showed you but yeah you want to you're gonna get zip files like this you're gonna to want to extract them by right clicking and extract here now windows should give you the option to do that if you don't have that you might need to install winrar or winzip you know this is common stuff for anybody downloading files from the internet they're free programs if you need them but windows does have a way to just extract without needing them so extract to there to in the same folder so you'll see i have i have the same folders here unzipped new cards mod new cards mod tcg card pokemon right there boom pokemon shop theme right there so we're just gonna start let's see let's start let's start from the top here i guess I'm going to open each of these in a new window and then drag and drop. Okay. Now this goes into the main TCG card shop simulator folder. All right. And it's going to create a Bepin X folder right there, but don't worry about that. We're going to be using Bepin X a lot. We're going to open each of these open a new window actually. This is the actual TCG card shop. We're going to drag that into there. And that's going to just put all that in. Replace, yes. And then I'm going to close that. Open a new window. Bep and X, we're just going to drag and drop into here. Some of them actually do need to be... I'll show you if, if we have that where we actually need to go into the Bep and X folder and 
put stuff into a folder called plugins that will come up but I'll just show you when we get there back up actually just close that window uh, I have two downloads open okay so what one was that that was Pokemon shop thing now we're on this one this is my I'm doing this with each folder you're not gonna have as many folders as this funk be gone I'm putting in that's my that's my anti smell did it work yes I guess it did sound replacer now sound replacer you see how it doesn't say Bep and X this is where you need to be aware of this open up Bep and X and go into plugins and put see how there's already a sound replacer there yeah replace that okay Auto set prices. We're going to go back up to where there's the map and X and just click and drag. Very easy, right? I'm going to put everything in here. Replace the files. Texture replacer. Texture replacer goes into plugins. Okay. And then, all right, so and then this one goes last. Wait a minute, I almost messed that up. Make sure it's going in to the main folder. Boom. Replace. Now, I just want to be safe. I'm going to reapply the Pokemon mod stuff last so that it's, in case anything I put in got like replace something else I want the Pokemon mod to be the last thing I put in so it replaces anything else so I'm gonna put this in again I know that's ridiculous but better safe than sorry right yeah replace anything okay so that's all the mods I believe I just want to check something to make sure yeah, very good. Yesterday I messed this up and this time it looks good. Okay, so that's all the mods installed, right? We're gonna close out the downloads. We're gonna close out the internet. We're gonna close this folder. I'm gonna open up Steam. And we're just gonna make sure this is working. And we should be able to tell from the main menu screen because it'll be different. Give it a second. It is loading. It is loading. Um, something else I do want to say before I end this video. Um, please be aware that this game is in early access. The reason I'm doing this is because the game itself got an update. Early access build 0 0.50. Customers can now trade cards. And because that happened, I had to update my mods. My game no longer works. So if you are wanting to get into modding this game like this, Pokemon mods, be aware that you are going to need to do this probably constantly. Like every time there's an update to the game, you're gonna to need to update the mods. And usually there's about two or three days where the mods are taking time to be updated. So just be aware of that. And like, if you don't wanna deal with that hassle, maybe wait till the game's in its 1.0 release before doing something like this. But yeah, I just want people to not be frustrated because this can, modding can be frustrating. But there you go. As you can see, my game is now working. Let me see if my games are here, if I deleted everything. Oh no, they are still here. All right. Um, let's just take a look. Look at that, look at that. Now, loading. Yeah, there we go. And you can see it's got the new textures in the background. Thanks for watching. All right. 
and it's got these new walls. Now, this is not with the regular Pokemon mod. Like I said, these are textures that I got with other mods. But you just saw how I installed them all, right? This is That's how it works. Oh! That's it used to be a Mewtwo background. Now it's Eevee. That's cool. I might want to look at that and change that back. But again, these are just mods I can look at. Right? Regular. Look at the packs. Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that glorious? And as we can see, the cards work. Look at that. Beautiful. 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 Oh, a hollow first edition Charmander. It's not a bad find. All right, so there you go, guys. I just wanted to show that off real quick. Um, so that is going to be it, and that is how you install the mods into TCG Card Shop Simulator. Um, specifically for the Pokemon mod, there is a Discord that those guys are very active. And if you are installing mods and having problems like troubleshooting and need help, I do recommend going in their Discord. They have a little thing where you can create a ticket and they're very, like, they got back to me immediately with stuff. Um, and I've had open conversations with the creators of the mod. They're really cool. They are French, so you might need Google Translate, but they're awesome. I just want to give shout outs to them for being so on it with uh, helping out and, uh, you know, getting things fixed for people's games. Um, other than that, guys, that's going to be it for right now. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow The Lost Joker. That's me on Twitch and YouTube if you like live streams. And definitely tune in for my TCG Card Shop Simulator live stream, which I try and do daily unless, like I said, game got updated or the mob mob uh, mod got updated and, uh, you know, there's some downtime. But that's it, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.